Hey Paul, I sp spoke with Don earlier. My name's Scott Walker with Impact Layton, and I just wanted to let you know that Don is probably one of the nicest persons I've sp spoken to on the phone in a very long time. I think she deserves a raves. No, she did not pay me to say this. But anyway, I wanted to shoot over this quick video showing some tips and tricks that you can do in-house to help bring in more business using your website and your Google business profile. I would appreciate to hear your feedback from you about the video, and I hope that these strategies are helpful and educational for you as well. So here's your web website right here. I love the Phoenix logo. That's pretty awesome. And, um, you know, always having a way to submit a customer right up top. Uh, I would make that clickable so that they could use that, but that's just my personal preference. Um, but one thing that I was looking at your website at is that you're, you're kind of lacking in content. And I say that because Google loves to see content. They want to see 1,500 to 2,000 words on your homepage. And throughout that content, you want to be found for buyer intent keywords that usually include, you know, like re-roofing and also a location. So a service and a location. So, you know, Arizona roofing, uh, that would be considered a statewide buyer intent keyword. But usually you have it down to the city. So, you know, like Phoenix or Mesa or, you know, those type of things. And the other thing is, if you save all your alternate texts correctly, uh, instead of it saying roofing logo right here, uh, it could be, you know, roofing Phoenix. And that would count as content as well because it's embedded behind the photo for you. So I did go ahead and put your website into a tool I use called Arifs. This will give me your analytics and kind of show me where you're setting. Uh, the DR is the trust that Google has for your website. This is on a scale of 100 and you want that number to continuously be moving up. You're currently at 3.4 trust with Google and that's due to your backlinks and referring domains. And in case you don't know what a backlink is, it's when one website links to another website via clickable button or text. But not all backlinks are created equal, so I do recommend avoiding the spammy ones by go <clears throat> and going after the authoritative ones by staying relevant to your industry and also your location. And it looks like you're being indexed for about 86 keywords, and you're, you have about 15 people coming to your website each and every month. Um, this is a third-party tool, so that could be off a little, but at the same time, it, with it being so low, your website's acting more like a digital business card as opposed to an online lead generating tool that can produce an ROI for you. And by implementing the strategies I'm talking about, both your organic traffic and your DR should go up. And if we look at some of the keywords that you're being indexed for, you know, Arizona Finest Roofing, there's 100 searches and you're in number two. You are getting 15 people and it looks like that's all the people that are going to your website by just looking up your name. But, uh, you know, roofing company Mesa, Arizona, that is a buyer intent keyword because it has the service and also the location. There's 200 searches a month. You're getting zero people to your website because you're on the fourth page of Google. Um, you know, uh, Arizona foam roofing. Once again, you're on the fourth page, no traffic. Mesa roofing, 300 searches, you know, zero traffic because you're on the fourth page. So those are the types of buyer intent keywords that you want to be indexed for and found for in Google searches. And if we do look up, a, you know, roofing Santan Valley, Arizona, I just looked up where you're located. Um, you usually get your Google in, uh, Google guaranteed services right up top. And then it doesn't look like anyone's running any local ads. But these are great ways to generate quick business quickly if that's something you're looking for. And being up in the Google business profile is where really where you want to be because that's where you, uh, a lot of traffic is driven to your website. And it looks like you are right here in number one spot, which is awesome. So you're, you know, you have all your citations and, uh, you know, you're making sure that you're adding reviews, you're getting photos updated weekly. Those are all great things to stay in that position. But the other thing you could also do is, you know, in any services that you, um, or any locations that you service, you could add location page location pages to your website, and then you could be found for even more Google searches. And that's kind of what you I would recommend doing for you. And then we move down into the Google Business Pro, or excuse me, the Google Organic listings. And th this is what I was talking about being on the third, fourth, fifth page of Google. You know, if I don't know the last time you scrolled all the way down to the bottom, hit next and looked for a company, but most of the people. They just come to this website right here and it's like, oh, top three, click right here. And it looks like America Roofing is one of your top competitors for that particular buyer intent keyword. 
And if we go to their website, you know, it looks clean, it's professional, and they have a decent amount of content. They have a lot of pictures. Um, but when you start to outrank your competitors and using these strategies, you'll have more more content, better buyer intent keywords, those uh, authoritative backlinks and citations, you could start to outrank your competitors. Now, I know that there wasn't a lot of search volume in, you know, Roof Repair Santan Valley. There's 20 searches a month. Uh, Roofer Santan Valley, you know, an, another five, which is fine. But like I said, if you have different location pages, you could be found for a lot more Google searches. And since you were already indexed for these keywords, you know, having roofy, roofers Mesa, Arizona, there's 300 searches a month. Mesa, Arizona roofing, another 300 searches. Mesa roofing, 300. There's a thousand just between those three keywords. And so if you are ranked for these buyer intent keywords on your website, a percentage of this total volume will start going to your website instead of your competitors. And a percentage of that will start to give you a call and depending on your closing rate will turn into a customer for you. So I really hope that this video is beneficial for you guys. Like I said, Dawn is amazing. She sounds like a wonderful person, uh, probably a really good person to work with. But <clears throat> I would appreciate to hear your feedback and thoughts about the video. I appreciate your time and thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.